Um, where do you see the significance of this research field and of host microbe interactions um, in general today? Why is it so important to, to study that? Yes. Well, it's very clear to many biologists that biology is at an inflection point. Biology is at a place where, uh, enabled by technology, uh, we have been able to recognize a whole new world that was not recognized before. And the analogy, or the, the um, fact that I always bring up is that back not 50 years ago, um, we thought there were only a handful of bacterial phyla. And now, um, because of our ability to define bacteria and bacterial groups, we're now up to over a thousand. And what's remarkable about that is when, when molecular biology and molecular phylogeny came onto the scene, or the ability to resolve relationships, um, for animals and plants, it didn't change how we saw them. But it's really changed the way we see the microbial world. And what it's allowing us to do is see that the microbial world is at the basis of health of all systems on Earth. All animals and plants rely on the activity of microbial communities. And um, it's, it's really a whole new day. And in order for us to begin to incorporate that into the way we think, it really requires a total conceptual shift uh, in the way biologists view the biological world. And so, um, uh, at one point, a very famous biologist at Stanford, Justin Sonnenberg, said that he thought that this was the most important change in our view of the biological world since Charles Darwin. And I would agree with that statement. Where would you see our world on this world of deep insight into living organisms in 10 or in 20 years? Uh, uh, will there be a continuous development of technologies which go deeper? And where should the field be in 10 or 20 years? Yes. I think the field should be at an understanding of how these systems work. And in order for us to do that, we really have to have technological breakthroughs that, that aren't available at this point. Um, we, we now are able to define who they are, but we have an inability to, to really understand how they work at, at the very closest levels. And one of the reasons is because the scale at which microorganisms are working is a scale at which biologists um, are not used to working. Uh, very effectively. And so we have to develop ways to investigate an individual bacterium and what an individual bacterium is doing at the level of transcription and, and so on and so forth. And we're, we're just not there yet. Um, we're, uh, we need better imaging. Uh, that's coming along beautifully with atomic force microscopy and various other um, ways of investigating microbial cells. But understanding how microbial cells actually interact with, with the rest of the biological world uh, will require not only a technical, technological change, but in my mind also a cultural change in the field. Because you can, at this point, in the United States, I think it's not so bad in Europe, but in the United States a biologist can come out with a biology degree four-year biology undergraduate degree with a single lecture um, on microorganisms. And this simply cannot, is not sustainable because we must, we must change the way we educate and we must, you know, so it's a very complex and very deep um, and sort of all-encompassing change that has to happen in the next 10 years in order for us to realize, you know, there is some political pushback on this from various sectors, um, um, and, and what one has to say is, actually, this is how the biological world exists and how it functions. This research has obviously a lot to do with health and disease. Um, the, does our view of how we see patients or how we treat patients or how we keep healthy, does it have to change uh, because of the new insights? Yeah. So the vertebrate body plan is based on 10 organ systems. The respiratory system, the reproductive system, the integumentary system, your skin and so on. Um, I would argue that in, by every definition of an organ system, and that is a set of organs that work together, um, the microbiome is the 11th human organ system. And what, what that is, is lots of people have shown that the gut, or, the gut microbiota communicate with the skin microbiota, communicate with the respiratory microbiota. And I think that 
um, our understanding of human health um, has to shift to incorporate this more fully than it is now. Um, we're focusing largely on the gut and neglecting the interactions of the gut with the, with the other portions of the microbiome. Um, but I think that um, what, one of the, the things that I've noticed is that, uh, that the medical profession is slower to get on board with this than the average person on the street. And I get on an airplane and I sit there and I, if the person asks me what I do, I often say, I work on the influence of back, uh, the role of beneficial bacteria in health. And maybe I shouldn't have said that because then I start talking for the next two hours to this person who is, you know, a stockbroker or something. So, so I think that the, that that there needs to be a huge education of the medical profession because they, you know, they they have gone down a, a series of of uh, rabbit holes that haven't taken into account a very, very, very critical component. And one of the things in the United States, I don't know if it's happening here, but undergraduate institutions, are dro uh, excuse me, medical schools, are dropping right, left, and center the requirement for microbiology to enter medical school. That's insane, um, now that we know that microbes are so important to human health.